Hello plant friends and welcome to my channel. I wish I had more plants. My name is Erica and I love houseplants and that's what I do on this channel. I share my houseplant journey. Today that journey takes me to some light because as you know the winter is here and so far I don't have that many grow lights but I do have a lot of baby plants that would really enjoy some extra light so I ordered two more lights like I have behind me and today I'm going to be installing them. So if you would like to join me, then let's go. All right guys, so I have the lights here. Um, some time ago, like a few months maybe, back I ordered these grow lights it's just like LED strips I ordered them from Amazon and I found the exact same lights on Aliexpress like 15 minutes after I ordered those so yeah this time I am trying the grow lights from Aliexpress and it's supposed to be exactly the same thing like I have up there so let's open it up so this is the box and here's how they look like. It also comes with some screws if you want to screw them. But I'm going to be using the sticky tape that's behind here. Mm, yeah. And there's two of them and they have quite a long cable. So let me show you. This is the maximum distance apart them, like between them. And I think that's like pretty a lot. And they both connect into a USB port and they have a timer here so exactly like the ones I already have and these were like twice as cheap as those um, so yeah mm -hmm. I don't know I will just try them I will put them on my shelf because it's the exact length for my shelves and it just fits perfectly so yeah Let's try it out and I guess maybe in the spring I can do a little bit of a review if these work and uh, how well they work if they do. But I think they do because my plants that are under those lights are really happy right now. So yeah, let's try to install them. I guess I'm gonna take you a little bit further away and do some kind of a time lapse of me like removing the plants from the top shelf and from the bottom shelf I will also show you what I have there right now so yeah let's just jump into the video and see how well this will go okay so this is the top shelf that I have it doesn't have any grow lights and right here I only have three plants here so it's this marble queen pothos which is super pretty like it is whining all around the shelf I will take a little footage and show you how it looks like from the side because it looks really pretty on the shelf but I don't know I'm debating still if I will leave it here or if I will take it down and then I have this beautiful orchid here and I think I'm going to maybe leave it here I will think about it but for sure I want to put my string of hearts that's behind it's right here and it is falling down on the radiator, so I would really like to put it on the opposite side, so like right here. And then I will have more space for some smaller plants. And now let me show you what I have at the bottom shelf. So this is my bottom shelf where at the moment I am keeping all kinds of tools and, you know, fertilizers and my tiny broom for when I make a mess. And I was thinking I'm gonna move this somewhere in a different location, somewhere where I can access it easily. I don't know yet where that is, but yeah, I would like to use this shelf as a grow light shelf. And I was thinking to put my tiny greenhouse underneath here and like, you know, make this bottom shelf as a propagation station kind of a thing because yeah, everything is like, this is a radiator right here, so these two shelves, like the bottom and the second one on top, gets a lot of heat from the radiator, so I think it would be like a perfect spot to have that kind of an environment, like with grow lights, heat, and a greenhouse. Yeah, right? 
yeah, so this is what I'm working with and now I guess let me put you aside and make a time lapse of me cleaning this out and installing some grow lights. Okay, so I'm going to start with the bottom shelf. I'm going to empty it out and uh, yeah, then I will... I'm not sure if I will... Okay, let's just do the bottom shelf first, whatever. Okay, so I feel like I need to move this baby right now because it's a little bit in the way and I just want to make this as easy as possible for myself. Oh, by the way, look at this. I love it so much. It's a postcard. Oh, actually, let me show you. So essentially, this summer during my birthday, my boyfriend took me um, to botanical gardens. This is a sorry, I, this is a little like section that's not related to the plant shelf, but this is really exciting, so I really want to show you. Um, this summer during my birthday, my boyfriend took me to botanical gardens in Germany and in Belgium. I'm sorry. I'm gonna link. A video down below if you want to see it but basically we saw this amazing book and I just really want to show it to you like not everything but okay okay let's skip to the good part like it's all about plants and it's drawn in this old style like old encyclopedia style and it is so insanely beautiful <laughs> But that led us to get these cards because of course we started googling the artist and there are these botanical cards and they are so pretty like all of them this is so fancy like this is how the book looks like you take out these are all the cards and they are so pretty like there is so many I'm sorry if the lighting is not the greatest but I just quickly wanted to show you like all this kind of stuff and it has text at the back here and it is written all about what's in the picture so what you can see here you will find it right here the explanation what it is and this is so great like I love it so much so that's where this is from and I just decided to frame it and have it in my background because it's so pretty this is one of the carnivorous plants actually not one a couple of them so yeah okay moving on okay so I'm gonna try to move this baby now it's really heavy okay so I have much more access right now so this is my string of hearts it's quite sparse. Maybe I should propagate it again at some point. I have two lights now in the middle. I cannot put the new lights like so far away. I need to remove one of the lights and move it, you know, like either this light up or this light down. Maybe I'm gonna move it, this one, down and then install two new lights here. I really hope that the tape is gonna be holding up and if not, then I guess I will have to look for my own tape. So yeah, let's try to do that. Okay, it's like really <laughs> stuck in there. Um, I guess I'm gonna try to grab a knife. I did it! Oh, I shouldn't shine straight at you. No, oh, wait. Uh. Anyways, it's there. It's the light. I did it. Why is it so white? I'm so sorry if like the footage is gonna be weirdly colored. Maybe I should have worn something brighter, not black. Well, do it now. I mean, it's sticky, but it's not sticky enough. So I'm going to look for double-sided tape and stick it on the bottom shelf. Okay, I have some tape. Thank you. 
I mean, yeah, seems really good, right? Okay, now let me zip tie a bunch of this stuff now and then we can put on the top shelf lights. Ta-da! Okay, so now let's move up. Okay, so let me try to install them lights on the top shelves now. Yeah, now let me cable. Zip tie the cables. Okay. This looks so good. Let me show you. Okay, so let's set up this shelf first. I think for now I'm going to keep this pothos over here, but I am going to remove this satin pothos from here because I'm going to chop it. So first of all, I see some leaves that I would like to remove. I see there is like a yellowing one at the back here. And also this leaf that's right here. Everything is okay with it, but because it is really in the way and I could place like a lot of plants here, I'm going to remove it. It was completely unnecessary, but I decided that I want to take it out from there. So yeah, that's what I did. I would like to put back this string of hearts and let it drape over on this side. Maybe I can put this one here. I think this is nice, this is cute. So it can grow on the shelf here, like the satin photos did before. Okay. Oh no! Oh my glob! Okay, oh! <laughs> I just lost a piece! There we go. I'm so sorry, Svetlana, don't watch. I'm gonna have to repot this baby. Okay, so now let's move to the shelf below. Okay, so this is the middle shelf, like the second from the top, and as you can see I moved away some plants from here to the top shelf. But here I have some stuff, like for example this dead propagation of one of the weird looking aloes. Yeah, it's uh, gone, so I have to clean this up. And like I said, I would like to chop this satin photos, so I'm going to be taking it away from here because, yeah, it's like producing long runners without many leaves, like, and then tiny leaves at the bottom. So I'm going to try to take it out. All right. <laughs> I took it out, it was a hassle and wow, it actually has quite some stuff here and it's quite long, so yeah. For now I'm setting it aside and then we will see what I'm gonna do with it. And then I can also move away the stand and this opens a lot of space for me. So here you can see my string of hearts trailing down. This baby, I feel like it will need to be repotted again because it gave me some little tiny babies. Let me show you. Like right here is a new baby and 
on this side as well you can see one so it's really cute and I'm watering it way more than I thought I'm going to but I think that, I, that I'm going to need to repot it because it's growing and yeah I wanted to have more space and oh also look at this awesome pangicula. I was struggling with it but Smeralda kept commenting on my videos that I should keep putting it in like a lot of water so I made this terrarium out of a jar. I could put like at the bottom then a mesh and some soil on top and I always try to keep water like where the leka is and yeah look at that it is giving me a second head right here and now there's two because one is behind this leaf <laughs> right there it's two heads so thank you so much this is really exciting all right and then what else i have i have my melanocrysum here and it is keep giving me these horrible leaves like this one it's so white i don't know i really want to put him in that cactus terrarium and i think i will actually need to do it really soon so and also my snake plant which is really dry i really need to water it i think these can stay because i feel like they look nice on this shelf Maybe melanocrysum I'm gonna remove a little bit from the radiator. That was like not the smartest idea of mine. This is my beautiful golden xanadu. I love it so much. It is growing bigger and bigger leaves every time and it is such a nice plant. <laughs> my tiny begonia that is not doing great at all. I will have to repot it, but I, I will leave the name on the screen because I don't remember at the moment, but it has this um, neon green stripe and the leaves are fuzzy. They are so cute. And yeah, it is not doing great. I am really, really failing with this plant, so I will have to do a, you know, revival on it very soon, so... Yeah, this, seem, this seems okay for now. This is the um, second shelf from the bottom. And I am going to be taking away the booby cactus because I am going to put it with all of my cactus on my cactus shelf. Let's see. Oh, and also I'm going to be taking this away to my cactus shelf as well. I don't love it. Okay, I'm not gonna put it here. Yeah, I'm guessing let's go to the bottom now and I'm going to set up my greenhouse. Okay, so this is the bottom shelf. And there's actually nothing else I can fit here. But I guess this is fine as well. I'm done. Let me set you aside and let's chat a little bit. Okay, so that was a lot of work. A lot of mental work to uh, like figure out what plants I want to keep under the grow lights because yeah, like always I'm like, oh, I'm gonna put all of my plants there. But then I'm like, ooh, there is like not so much space. But what you gonna do? So I wanted to show you <laughs> this satin pothos that I took off. Ooh. It is so long, like look at it. I did not imagine that it was so long because it was like wind around my shelves and yeah. So it has quite a long wine, but it is not that full looking. Like I would like it to have more wines growing out of here because there is also like a few that I just like round that like you know wind around so I'm going to chop it and I'm going to propagate it probably somewhere in my next videos so yeah I just wanted to show you because it's actually quite cool like how long it is but 
only like a couple of branches <laughs> but yeah so I feel like I did a lot today and I'm so happy with how it turned out I am a little bit worried now where I'm going to keep all of my tools because they are right now just on the ground and yeah I don't know I will have to come up with something but I am so happy with how the shelf turned out and I hope that my plants will really appreciate it so so that was it for today's video thank you so much for watching I really hope you enjoyed this video and I really want to say a special thank you to everybody who came to my channel from Svetlana's channel because there were so many of you and that made me feel so warm and like oh I thought thank you so much for all of your support and all the kind words it really really means a lot to me and it just really keeps me motivated and keep going and keep doing better videos but yeah thank you so much from the bottom of my heart it really means a lot and for those of you who did not subscribe yet maybe consider doing so and maybe leave a like on this video if you liked it of course and let me know if you have experience with these kind of growth lights so we can chat about it in the comments because yeah like i said i only have them for a few months and today i installed the second set so it's really interesting for me and yeah all of these plants i kind of have more space now so i wish i had more plants see you next time guys